We are at uh, uh, Helse West in uh, Bergen, Norway, and uh, with uh, Torkny, uh, one of the uh, arch architects here. Um, there were some special, are some special features as to uh, the encounter model that is uh, being used here. Uh, could you explain us uh, what the main characteristics of that model are? That we have one main encounter that spans the whole inpatient stay. And this main encounter is divided into two lines, the responsible encounter that could differ and change during the stay, or it could be the same, and the ward or location encounter where the patient actually is physically. The two lines. You admit the patient here, and then you have a responsible. The responsible could be the medical department, for instance, and you have it in the emergency room. Uh, and then it is moved to another ward, med uh, B, for instance, ward. And then they here find that this isn't a medical patient, this is a surgical patient. So we get a surgical patient responsible. Uh, the patient will stay here for a little while until surgery. And then will go, go to surgery actually and back. Uh, and then when it returns, it will be put on the surgical C uh, ward. So this is the ward, ward, or location. And then this is responsible. The patient gets worse, so we move it into ICU, intensive care unit. And the responsible is still the surgical uh, part of it. And it is still in the uh, ICU. And um, maybe the patient, they, uh, the responsible ends for the surgical people and it goes back to the medical department and somewhere it will end here and discharge. Probably will go into med, A, B, C, something, uh, ward. And that's... Okay, but so are, 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 you, are you saying that at all three levels you have a series of identifiers for each phase that we are talking about here? Then we have one identifier here, we call the A type, and then we have a B1, B2, B3, and here we will have C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Okay, which means that at any point in time, which is like a, a virtual line somewhere in this model, uh, you have three identifiers. So you always have a tuple yes. of three different encounter yes. identifiers. So when you query here, where is the patient at the moment, you will say, yes, he's, he's, he's admitted to the hospital. That's the one. Uh, this is admitted to surgical department and he's in the ICU unit. Okay, but you also get back the identifiers B2 and C4? Yes. Okay, which are not the identifiers of the department? No, that's a, uh, of the But it's an identification of, of a level of an encounter. encounter. So at the A level, that is typically what you, we would call an encounter in HL7, probably. Probably, yes. Okay. Interesting concept. So the question then is why because did... Because the diagnosis and the procedures are... Uh, they, they... every part here they actually put discharge diagnose here and a discharge diagnose here and even if the same department they could actually put another discharge diagnose here probably it will be the same as there. But they have to, to, to discharge the patient. Uh, normally they do that, but they normally they will just put in this search diagnose here and put the same here. Okay. But this is doing with... Um, yes. Okay, so let's see whether we can work that into the international version 3 encounter model. Yes. Okay. Good.